Shalom. Call Halal Yahawa Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalawam, to the Akiam and to the Akwaf. That'll be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza, that is to say Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this lesson, you be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. To feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson today, I'm going to entitle it to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Shall we then make mirth? Okay. Shall we then make mirth? All right. In the book of Ezekiel, the 21st chapter. Uh, beginning at verse 9 it speaks about a sword being sharpened okay and furbished to put into the hands of the slayer that's really going into Esau right but even before that time comes right even before uh, it fully fully uh, come into fruition uh, Jacob's trouble you're gonna have people out here waxing very cold as the scripture tell you let me let me see if I can interject interject a scripture real quick before I start to read an article I just ran across. Let's go to the book of Matthew, Matthew the twenty fourth chapter, and the twelve verse. Right. So we know a sword is being prepared and sharpened to put into the hands of the slayer, as, as the scriptures say. But this right here, even before that, get in full effect. These things have been happening and already happening is going to intensify and become more prevalent. Okay, it says, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12, it says, And because iniquity shall abound, now what is iniquity? Sin upon sin. You're stacking up sin on top of sin into the clouds. Okay, um, shall abound, meaning expand, enlarging. Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So people ain't got no love out here. People are cold like ice and they will put you under the ground because they don't care for life. Okay? They, they just don't care because that's the life that they live. You have thugs, gangsters, murderers, killers, all that. Okay? Because why? They, 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 not, they, they don't take heed to the word of the Lord. They're doing their own, their own thing. They're controlled by Satan. Okay? Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So when you're out about it in these bars, okay, out and about, just, uh, you know, doing what you want to do, uh, knowing that you, you're not repented, you're out there committing adultery with other men's wives or other uh, 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 women's husbands, or you're just out there sinning nonstop, willfully sinning, just being wicked, doing what you want to do. And then you outrun all these murderers and killers, okay? You don't know who these people are when you go to these places. You don't know what could happen. You don't know who these people are. Okay, but the scriptures prophesy that because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And we in that time, okay, uh, 2 Timothy verse three and uh, chapter 3 and verse 1, and this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. When you go into the word perilous, it means dangerous, fierce, hard, savage, okay, that's the times that we're in. Okay? Now, I have an article here. And I just ran across. And I'm going to get it. This is uh, Brett Bart News. And it says, Two killed, nine injured in Cancun bar shootings. Now, we know Cancun, that's Mexico. That's supposed to be the, touristic, the tourist part of Mexico where tourists go. So you have a lot of jakes come from all over the world. From America from different parts of the world, and they go to Cancun. They go in there to have fun, right? 
You know what they say in a certain place. What happened in Cancun stay in Cancun. They say it in every place. What happened in Miami stays in Miami. What happened in New York stays in New York. What happened in California stays in California. You know, they have the sense. So they go to this place now. They go to Cancun with a mindset. Oh, they're going to have fun. You know, Jake's go there. Jake's single. He by himself. He's looking for women. Women go there. They by themselves. They're looking for men. Right? So they are up in the club and all this wickedness. They're drinking, smoking, doing whatever. You know what I'm saying? Now, here comes spirits that are created for vengeance, right? I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, let me read some of the article and I'm going to get that scripture. But um, let me put a quick disclaimer out there. Uh, Copyright Act, the Fair Use Act on uh, the Section 107, uh, which, give, um, which gives way for uh, commentary and criticism. Um, so my disclaimer would be the Fair Use Act on the Section 107. This video, this um, article, I want to say this article, I don't, be, I don't uh, own it, okay. I don't have the rights to it. It's, I'm just using this, okay, for educational purposes. And it's not for monetary gain or anything of that sort. So, Fair Use Act under Section 107, which gives way for uh, criticism and commentary and things of that nature. All right. So that would be my disclaimer. So let's go ahead and read. It says Brett Bart News and this uh, article. Uh, I think if I seen a date, I think it was like a day or two ago. Um, okay, May 8. May 8. All right, so this is a fresh article, man. Okay, but let's get this. Uh, the title, it says, Two killed, nine injured in Cancun bar shootings. Now, this they went into two different bars, okay, and shot them up, right? Let's... let's Let's see, they got a, a still footage here. It says, a group of gunmen fired into two separate bars in Cancun. Now, remember, Cancun is a place where people go to party hard and have fun. All of that wicked stuff. You know what it is. Looking for women, doing drugs, smoking, drinking, all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? They don't go there to just be, just be pretty. They go there to do the act. Okay, a group of gunmen fired into two separate bars in Cancun, killing two people and injuring nine others. The shooting attack comes as the as the uh, region is experiencing a wave of violence linked to a cartel turf war, leaving tourists caught in the middle. Now you know Mexicans they go back to Izacar, those that are of that um, lineage. Uh, uh, um, those are Latinos, okay, of Native Americans, Latinos, and Negroes whose lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They would be Israelites. So the uh, Mexicans, those of that lineage, would be of the tribe of Issachar, okay. And, and they, 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 Jake, and you know how Jake is. When Jake get crossed up and riled up, <laughs> you know, things could go bad, man. It says, um, it says the shooting attack comes as the region ex is experiencing a wave of violence linked to a cartel turf war, leaving tourists caught in the middle. Right? It says, as a, at the same time, a group of gunmen believed to be the same ones carried out a second shooting attack at another bar called the La Macalados de la Caba. In that attack, the gunman killed another person and injured three others. Hold on, I think I skipped. Okay, yeah. So, like, let me go back up to the top because I know I, when I read it earlier, it, it had mentioned the name of the first bar. So, let me go back up and read up again. It says, The attack took place Friday night when a group of gunmen in a Jeep Cherokee and a Chevy pulled up to an entertainment district. So, this is like the entertainment district. And something like this happened in California. Uh, was that San Diego, California, about a month or two ago, right? That was on the, the, the district where they were shooting and speeding those cars and they're shooting, man. All right? Just, just, if you're going out to make mirth in the times that we're living in, knowing that iniquity is abounding and the love of many is waxing cold, why would you want to be up around people, man? So you got to use discernment and wisdom. 
Okay, the scriptures say a prudent man uh, 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 foresee the evil and hide it himself, man. You want to be around people, man, especially if they ain't in this truth. All right? It says the attack took place Friday night when a group of gunmen in a Jeep Cherokee and a Chevy pulled up to an entertainment district. The gunmen ran up to a bar called Deja Vu and began firing inside. The local news outlet, Naughty Carib, reported the gunmen killed one bar patron and injured six others. So that means they were shooting indiscriminately, man. Okay? Killed one person at this bar and injured six others. Right? So... This the next bar says, at the same time, a group of gunmen believed to be the same ones carried out a second shooting attack at another bar called Las Michaelas, Michaeladas de la Queba. In that attack, the gunmen killed another person and injured three others. Okay, so this is another person who was killed in a different bar and injured three others, man. Okay, well, you think you should need to be out around people in a time like this? No, you should be repenting and turning to the Lord. Okay, Acts 3 and 19, repent ye therefore and be converted so that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, man. Okay, the scriptures say to make no tyrant to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forward and in thy security shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, man. Things has happened quick. Suddenly, you up in the club, you think you okay, you think you're all right. You think they got bouncers, they got security or whatever. <laughs> and, 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 and lo and behold, Things like this could happen regardless, man. Okay? Regardless, when guns are drawn, man, hey, people get flat and get low. Okay? <laughs> so this is not a good time to be around people, man. Shall shall we then make mirth? You want to be in partying? Okay? All right, we, we, we rejoice. We rejoice. See, there's a difference between rejoicing and partying, man. Okay? We rejoicing because we rejoicing to our power, man. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. All right, that's what we rejoicing in. All right, but we ain't out making mirth around people in the clubs and no, no, we ain't on that. Okay, we rejoicing uh, to to, the, to our Lord, man. We rejoicing in the Lord. Okay, but that's not what you people out there, you two thirds. That's not what you got going on. You want to go to the club. You think that your kingdom is is going back to normal. All right, and that's what you hoping in. But you're gonna be you're gonna find that you're gonna be confounded. Okay, as the scriptures say, um, Isaiah the 30th chapter, that uh, woe to the rebellious children that go down into Egypt, okay, that uh, take a covering, uh, but not of uh, the covering of the Spirit of the Lord, okay, to, to go down into Egypt to add sin to sin, roughly paraphrasing, okay, therefore, tell, uh, 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 therefore, say, say, therefore, Pharaoh uh, and Egypt shall be ashamed in your confusion, man, roughly paraphrasing. I don't got to go get it right now because I don't want to run out of time. I'm on my lunch break. Uh, it says, I'm going to read down on it. It says, a surveillance video captured moment captured the moment of the shooting. Three men with handguns can be seen walking to the entrance of the bar and firing indiscriminately inside. You see, this is why you don't want to be around people, man. Shall we then make mirth knowing that a sword is being sharpened, man? Okay. Shall we then make mirth? Knowing that iniquity is abounding and the love of many is waxing cold, as the scripture prophesied, we in this time, we here, all right? So you're supposed to be out making mirth around these people because these people are crazy, man, all right? Scriptures, furthermore, scripture speaks about spirits that are created for vengeance. Let me get that scripture right now, all right? This is uh, in the Apocrypha Ecclesiastes, otherwise known as Sirach, the 39th chapter and the 28th verse. It says, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Okay, spirits created for vengeance, man. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, so you don't want to be out and be about and be around uh, uh, strange people. You don't know what the hell they doing, what they're up to, all of these vehicles, people. You don't know what these people got in their vehicles, man. And the one little thing spark, one argument, somebody walk on somebody's shoes, that little simple thing turn into a big brawl, from a big brawl to weapons drawn. And that's how it is. That's just how it is, man. And and see, like the, like the, like the thing say, they shooting indiscriminately. All right? Now, it, it speaks about all of these other things. It says, um, one of the gunmen is seen shooting at a bar 
are the bar's host at least twice, okay? Shout out the bar's host, man, at least twice, see? Spirits created for vengeance, man. The violence in Cancun comes at a time when authorities have been un unable to curb a fierce cartel turf war for control of the local drug distribution as well as control of lucrative drug human smuggling routes into Texas. The fighting is already carried out between cartels linked to the Sinaloa cartel and, car and cartel uh, Jalisco New Generation. The fighting resulted in multiple shootings and shootouts near tourist hotels and on beaches packed with tourists. All right? So you see, <laughs> this is not the time to be out and about trying to make mirth, man, around these uh, districts and clubs and Okay, it just, it's just not, man. It's time to be serving the Lord. Despite many assurances by government officials and deployment of military forces as well as federal police forces, Mexico's government has been unable to curb the violence. Okay. Um, I, I mean, that's it. I, I'm not going to bother to read the rest of that because, hey, the point is made, man, that these things are happening. It's talking about it's talking about the violence and the cartels and the trade of, uh, you know, all that stuff and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it's because mankind is wicked, man. Straight up. That's what it is because iniquity is abounding. Nobody cares. These people don't have a care in the world. They're not thinking about the Mosai. The scripture tell you that the, uh, the Mosai is, uh, the, 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 the is not in the thoughts of the wicked, man. So they ain't thinking about the Mosai. they just being wicked and doing what they're doing. Okay. That's it. So if you in the way, you get caught up because you out and about around people, around strange people you don't know, and, 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 and things start popping off, <laughs> you better hope the law with you. Okay? Because this ain't the time to be making mirth, man. All right? Now, brothers, brothers might go out someplace and, you know, but at the end of the day, for the most part, we go out as, as, as a unit. We go together. We choose, we'll choose a spot or choose somewhere, you know, to with brothers... You know, we are our own personal club, not a club club, but we hang around one another. All right. You know, now a brother might do something with his wife or his woman and go to somewhere, you know, the Lord be with that brother and his woman. You know, at the end of the day, a prudent man foresee the evil and hide it himself. You know, and the angels are the, the angels are, 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 is, is going to bear up those that are, 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 are of the elect, man. You know, at the end of the day. You know, and even in that, we you still don't try to find ourselves, you know, um, around too much scenery like that. You know, it's just that your woman might want you to take her out or something like that. You know, a woman could get sometime, and you don't want her to feel all alone. Sometimes you come to you just it's a balance. You just try to balance things, and you might go out somewhere, but you're keeping your eyes peeled and and staying in the spirit to the best of your ability. You know what I'm saying? But it's not re it's not really out. Uh, making mirth you just using using wisdom and balance you know what i'm saying in your relationship and um and through the spirit man any, anything you see that even if your woman asking you to do something or something you deal with it to the spirit man because whatever a woman say to you you got to extrapolate from what she say and you got to be make the final decision by using wisdom you shouldn't have a woman shouldn't get you to do anything she want no you sh you got to be the man. You the man. You got to extrapolate from what she's saying, and you give the final decision. All right, and that's what it is, man. Because we ain't in the time of making mirth. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You have to you have to plan things and look into things, man. Okay, that's what it is, and just pray, hope that you, I mean, how shall I be with you? you know what I'm saying that's it. That's it. But at the end of the day, that's it, man. We ain't in the time of making mirth, man. Shall we then make mirth, knowing all these things going on? Spirits out here created for vengeance, okay? Iniquity is abounding, the love of many waxing coal out here, okay? We, 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 hey, man, <laughs> as a matter of fact, I'm going to read that scripture real quick, and then I'm going to close out, okay? This is I brought it up. I'm going to close out with that. Let me go to Ezekiel real quick and bring that out. Ezekiel, the 21st chapter. Um... This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 21, beginning at verse 9. And it reads, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus said the Lord. And this is coming into the time of Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 7. Say, A sword, a sword is sharpened. And who's that sword? Esau, man. Okay? And it's power structure. It's military. 
and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a swath a sure slaughter, for it is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? Yeah, you are all up in these clubs. It contended the rod of my son as every tree, and he had given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. Crawl, cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who are Israelites. It shall be upon all the princes of Israel. Terrorists by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite therefore upon thy thigh. So, hey, shall we then make mirth knowing all these things? <laughs> all right. You, you, you've been one. I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully you were edified. On to the next one. Shalom.